Welcome back to the 10K, Mr. X and Chance. Currently in phase versus ISO. This is going to be a game five semifinal match. Winner of this, obviously, will move on to the finals. Uh, going to go on board with Llama God to kick things off here. Currently with the bomb, isolation on offense. And also in a quarterfinals match going on right now, it's going to be TCM versus SP. TCM up two to one. Yeah, and just in case you missed the first search and destroy of this matchup, uh, pretty insane. Ended up going to round 11. I believe Enable had like four or five bob plants and dropped 16 kills and had like 2,800 points or something insane. For and a then on the flip side, Dito was like 14 and 10. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, uh, that was a pretty insane game. It's gonna be Havoc and Nelson getting two kills for this ISO team. They're gonna be set up inside blue. Gonna try and get control over this B bomb site. You see Havoc on your screen. Gonna try and peek with the sniper rifle. He's gonna get aggressive on this player in garage. They're able to double team him, take him out. It's going to be a round one victory on offense for ISO. Yeah, the player that went down was the bomb carrier, and he ended up going down in a bit of a sticky situation, but it didn't matter because the three ISO players just completely ran through nearly the spawn of phase back on that side of things, and we're able to take them all out just using, you know, pure bait and switch style teamwork, all bunched up relatively in the same area, not in a way that they're going to get two piece or anything like that, but just in a way that they could completely massacre phase. Yeah, we're gonna go on board with Zuma to kick things off here for phase. Gonna have that snipe rifle out. He got a lot of first bloods in the last solar SD. We cast it of him. See if he can do it here. He's gonna have nothing really on this A street. See what Slasher sees over on the B street. He's gonna be trying to get some angles with that snipe rifle as well. But you see, ISO does a very nice job of this. They did on Detroit, not putting themselves in positions to get first blooded. 
Yeah, no, not at all. Even when Havoc is gonna get spotted by Slasher, he immediately backs up right away. And Slasher's actually got, he's going for that really nice Aqua spot. He's actually gonna be able to get a hit marker on Dita right there, despite using the um, rarer spot of Swords. But still, uh, you know, halfway through this match, and not a single player has died yet. So, Base is definitely gonna be trying to work a bomb slide soon. And it looks like they're trying to get the rotation over to A, but kills are gonna go down. Now it's gonna be a 2v2. Lama God with a two, possibly three piece, though. So ISO able to win another round. Yeah, as soon as they tried to push connector, you just saw everybody start to drop like flies for that phase lineup. See three players go down, I believe, and they will drop, and then Hook right behind them after he picked up the bomb. Looks like Nelson gonna pick up the final kill cam, though. This is gonna be on Hook up top. Gonna be able to take him out. That's a 2 0 start for ISO. 4 0 start for Nelson. We'll go on with him into the third round. Yeah, I don't believe he's doing it in Search and Destroy. Uh, actually, no, it is. Nelson has been rocking Gun Ho the entire time. A uh, little bit of a debate over it. And for the most part, I think it's pretty much like accepted that it's a useful perk, but it's not like a necessity by any stretch of the imagination. And there are just a few pros that like to run it. Uh, John for SB being a prime example. It's not something you need, so to speak. Uh, I mean, it does give a slight advantage, something that no, maybe in a certain situation or gunfight comes in handy, but I mean, I don't think it's by any stretch of the imagination something that is needed. Nelson's gonna just run straight around the middle of the map, pick up one. It's actually gonna jump right over somebody. Perfect timing for an able, able pick up a kill. It's gonna be Dita last one alive for I so he's gonna be able to pick up one, drop down, it's gonna be a 2v1. It's gonna be Zuma and Slasher going up against Dito here. Yeah, and I believe that was Zuma that was pretty much sitting right on top of the bomb. So the phase is fully aware of where it is. Zuma able to hunt down Tito. Tito to get the kill, but I believe the kill ended up getting traded. I really hope unless Tito destroyed him. And in fact, the kill did get traded. Yeah, very nice play out of phase there at the end. Dito almost made it interesting getting that first kill. Not able to pick up the second. It's going to put a round on the board for phase. You see here in the final kill cam, uh, Dito and Zuma just sitting around the corner from each other for a very long time. Dito almost made it around that corner and dashed behind that tank. Not able to make it there. And uh, just to give you guys a quick update, after uh, the first half of comeback uplink, it's going to be TCM ahead of SB. It looks like the score 5-2. to two. Uh, Gunshi, 24 kills in the first half of that uplink. So uh, we'll keep you updated on what goes on with that. 24 kills in the first half? Yeah. Dude, that's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that's pretty silly. But that doesn't matter because we're on Search and Destroy with ISO in phase. And nothing's really gone down so far. Both teams just kind of playing picks. Again, hanging in the back, waiting for something to happen with those overkill snipers. Yeah, just waiting for anything. And uh, no, this is how FaZe has decided to play these SMDs the entire night, which is kind of odd because uh, you remember Chance on Detroit when they started to get a little bit more aggressive up the middle of the map and uh, you know, to the sides, they started to have some success. I know the few rounds they tried to snipe in their base didn't have great success. See Slasher though on your screen, able to get that first pick. Nelson though, gonna answer with one of his own and he's gonna answer with two kills right there. Nelson really taking over the game here. In the final map for ISO. It looks like they're going to be able to take that to force that lead up to three to one. I mean, it was almost this, as soon as that first blood came down, ISO just kind of laughed at him and then just shut them down all within a span of like five seconds. Nelson picking up two or three, actually getting the final kill cam as well. Uh, sitting at eight and one. So Nelson doing pretty well in search. Apparently that gun ho has been incredibly useful for him. Like I'm going to start using it in my matches as well, because apparently it works. Might as well improve your game chance. Get off that Wii, start playing on Xbox. This is actually the first game I've ever like, like this is the first Xbox I've ever owned, first non-Wii I've ever owned really. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Not, not too great at the game right now. But that again, <laughs> doesn't matter because we're on board with ISO and it looks like they're gonna be trying to work the A bomb site this time. It does have quite a few players from base, not necessarily stacked, but pushed right around that A bomb side area. So we're gonna have a gun fight going down pretty quick and it looks like Enable's able to pick up Nelson. So that's gonna be a four versus two. Dito and Lama got in a very tough situation right now. And Dito tried to kill his teammate with a knife. Luckily that did not connect. That would've been kind of awkward, but now he's in a 1v4 anyway. Yeah, this is gonna be a round win for FaZe. Uh, just FaZe, really they need to figure out a way to win offensive rounds and i think the the way is kind of obvious just don't do what they're doing right now they're playing so much for picks and then they're just stalling there's so much time to be wasted and then they never actually make a move they end up getting first blooded somehow and then they always play to man disadvantage they need to play aggressive i mean uh you, you know zuma one of the better snd players in the game 
and what do we kind of think of him as somebody who's just uh, an aggressive player flanking the opponent's team's base the entire time? It's really what they need to take advantage of. Or hell, even when they get the first blood, it doesn't matter because last round they didn't get the first blood until there was like 40 seconds left in round. So they were forced to make moves on the bomb side pretty quick. And ISO again, just able to sit back because they had complete control of everything. So you're right. They do need to get aggressive, but they need to do it right from the start and let it ride throughout the entire thing. Look at this. ISO's just given a little bit of aggression. They've shown that they're near the B bomb site. And look how far FaZe has had to push back. I mean, they may win this round just because of just whatever you know, may happen obviously crazy things do happen but just one player has forced the entire phase team pretty much back to their spawn it's only a minute left to go and now they have to figure out a way to make a push you see the players collapsing on enable and co over on that a bomb site zuma able to pick up two huge kills and now that's what kind of bait fails this i don't want to say bails the phase team out but definitely helps them a lot in SMDs. though they may not be playing the correct team game to win they have such great individual play that they're able to get away with it yeah, it's kind of like Optic Gaming and Hardpoint to where they're just good enough that they can flood the hill and don't have to worry about playing it perfectly because they can make up for it. FaZe is kind of treating Search and Destroy the same way. They don't have to do anything crazy as far as teamwork goes. They just trust like Zuma to get those first bloods and Slasher to get those first picks with a sniper. And it has paid off for them quite a few times, but it's also backfired. So obviously you're going to want to at the very least see a mix of those picks. And then, you know, the random strats where just some insane amount of teamwork comes in. But have it able to jump pretty much right on top of Zuma right there. It's going to put him in a 1v2. He does not have that much time to work with, though. He's going to have to pick off both players in, you know, a matter of seconds. And it does not look like he's going to be able to do that. Nah, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, looks like it's going to be all tied up at three rounds apiece. And just to give you guys a quick update, uh, TCM has defeated SP. Uh, they'll move on to go play Optic Gaming. So that'll be the semifinal at the top half of the bracket. Uh, be letting you know when that one begins. Uh, Gunshi drops uh, 40 and 19 on that uh, comeback up link. The winner of this will move on to the finals to play either the winner it will play the winner of optic gaming versus tcm that should be a fantastic match as well so gunshi is to uplink as hook is to ctf i'll remember that in case we sure. see that in the finals matchup but again for now that is not what's going on we are still in search and destroy where both teams are just playing picks again yep looks like uh we're gonna have slasher just playing the bottom B hut, he's gonna rotate out a little bit. Let's see what they're trying to do with bomb. Looks like they were gonna contemplate bringing it mid map. Gonna wrap this one back around towards B. Gonna try and push straight through. Dito's gonna get that first blood. See what Llama God decides to do. He's just gonna boost around this corner, give a little distraction, able to take out Hook right there. Fantastic play from Llama God. Now it's gonna leave just a Nable in a 1v3 here in a very tough spot. He's gonna be taken out. It's gonna be ISO taking a one round lead. Yeah, and you saw the teamwork come in for Isla right there. I mean, I was on board with Lama God for that, and after he picked up the kill on Zuma, you see his teammate called out the player that was on top 10, and immediately he jumped out to throw a nade, and we saw that player get down, immediately went to challenge that, having as many guns aimed at the phase players as possible just to, you know, get those trades immediately, not allow any sort of wiggle room for, like, crazy plays to happen because, again, phase, very talented players on this team. They can make some plays at any given moment, but they're able to shut that down. Nelson, great game at 10-3. and three. Uh, his team doing all right behind him. Going to go on board with Zuma here to kick things off with a sniper just kind of looking across the map. Nobody's going to be pushing him on this A street. And uh, let's see what the rest of his teammates are going to be doing. Got to enable with that bomb looking mid map. He's got a sniper in his back pocket. Slasher's going to be going to look towards B with that sniper rifle. Enable, they will pick one off off the start. Let's see what he decides to do. He's gonna, just going to look behind him. See if anyone's going to push straight through that B bomb site. But uh, nice job, FaZe, getting that first blood. This is something we've seen before, though, where they pick up the first blood. Yep. And then just because of how slow they play it, they end up just getting picked off one by one. You see Lama God is able to pick up a kill right there, but enable coming in right in behind him to trade. So still man advantage, man advantage in favor of FaZe right now for a 3v2. Yep, Enable has the bomb over at A, but look at this. There's one player actually lurking behind over at A, and look at he's going to wait for the perfect time to pop out and shoot. That was Dito. going to have a 1v1. It's going to be Dito versus Slasher. Dito's going to win that one. Put ISO one round away from making it to the finals.
and again, we've seen it before to where FaZe gets the mana advantage and then just they can't follow through. Uh, whether it be play style or just the clutching ability of these players on ISO, obviously Dito was very close to being dead right there. He was one shot, but again, ISO doing extremely well in search and destroy, able to take the first when it looks like they, you know, the odds are ever in their favor at this point. FaZe certainly not going to go away though, but I don't know. Go on board with ISO, see if they can close this one out. It's gonna be Nelson. They're gonna push straight through to B and look at how FaZe decides to play this. They stacked over on that mid and A bomb site. See what they decide to do. Is it gonna be Lamagon gonna go try and plant the bomb? He has bomb, kind of standing right on site. It's gonna be Hoop. They're gonna be able to take him out first. Slasher gonna answer with a kill of his own. Not gonna allow Bomb God to plant the bomb. Let's see what they decide to do. Look at this. There's one player on the flank though. It's gonna be Nelson Chance. He's gonna be able to take out one. And now the players on phase are kind of trapped over at that B bomb site. Yeah, they are kind of pinned in right now. Llama God is surrounded by phase, but he definitely has support for his, from his team. And Dito just kind of a cross map waiting to pick up any sort of straggler, so to speak. But now it's going to be already back down into a one versus one. Dito versus Zuma. All the hopes lie in the hands of Zuma. And it looks like Dito is actually going to be able to hunt him down. Dito, insane awareness. I don't know if he just heard him that entire he heard time him or what, but able to pick him off right away. So ISO going to be moving on to your finals. Yep, he heard him boost. Uh, Dito able to hear Zuma boost up. Dito wins two straight 1v1s, one versus Slasher, one versus Zuma to close things out. Put ISO in the grand finals of the 10K. And guys, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have the other semifinals. It's going to be Optic Gaming versus TCM, so stay tuned.